mushrooms, you know, we've got acid. It's gonna be a good dinner. You know, I was about to call these asparagus. What are, what are, they, what are these called? <laughs> I don't know either. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. That's it. Hey. That was good. Let's do one more. Hi, I'm Matt Moran, and welcome to Kitchen Tales. There's nothing I like more than catching up with mates while I cook for them in my kitchen, where all the best stories are told. Yeah, right. Give me your hat. There we go, like that. There you go. <laughs> Even Matt Moran makes mistakes. Makes mistakes, I do. No! <laughs> so join us in the kitchen. I'm looking forward to sharing their kitchen tales with you. It's better than I thought, actually. Look at that, and the cat's helping. <laughs> I've had lots of legends in my kitchen, and these guys are definitely legends. But they're a little bit different. They are an internet sensation with over a million followers. They are Jack and Matt, and they are the inspired unemployed. And here they are now. Good to see you. How are you, boys? Oh, I hope you're hungry. You. Got a little dishy for you. <laughs> Take a day off. Picked <laughs> up a fresh batch. Oh, yeah. mate, look at you two, mate. Look at you. No, look at this. I'm in black and you Matt. guys are in, in uniform. Yeah, well, we're here to cook. Oh, we've already cooked, actually. Are you really yeah. cooking? Yeah. You actually made them yourself? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's bullshit. You're really history and all. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. good. Hey, Watch out, Todd. Leave him over there. All right, that's right. Thank I'm used you. to it. Um, guys, grab a oh. seat. Grab a seat. It's actually an honour to have you guys no. here. Thank you. Uh, it's an honour to be here. Honour to be here. Lovely house. Lovely, Lovely house. house. It's not bad, is it, huh? Chefing goes all right, eh? Maybe we <laughs> yeah. should get into it. We're getting into it. We'll open yeah. up a restaurant. No, no, we actually uh, we rent this house. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure you do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good cover up. Yeah, yeah, very good cover up. Well, you know, if you're going to be a proper cook, you've got to have a good kitchen, yeah. yeah that's right. You're only as good as your tools. And a good pool and house and movie theater and <laughs> go kart track. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, you say that. A good friend of mine has a go kart track. Yeah. Um, is he yeah. a chef? No, he's uh, his next motorbike rider. Mm. Ooh, what's his mm. name? Uh, Mick. Mick. We'll yeah, go Mick. Let's do that. Um, okay. So, guys. Um, great to have you here. You know, I'm, I'm surprised that you actually are here. Yeah. Now, you guys are huge. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. Over a million uh, followers. Uh, yeah, it's just about to happen. You know, we actually need apprentices since uh, COVID hit. We're, yeah. it's, uh, we, are, we are so short staffed, it's unbelievable. Really? Yeah. Maybe yeah. we should do that. I'll do it. I'll do it. The well, money's pretty good these yeah. days, you know, and the, and the government pay half of it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Employment, though, it's not really our thing, is it? Mm. Yeah, that's. But maybe. Yeah. Give it a crack. Give it a crack. It's worth a All shot. Right. So You've got to tell me, how did this start? Oh, Go man. Again. So we. <laughs> started years ago, um, we were in New Zealand, mm. before the Inspired Unemployed, there was a page called Pine Tree TV, with our mates in New Zealand, because we had no work, and we couldn't get a job, so we just started making stupid videos. Two years later, me and Falcon went to um, Europe, we went away, for, we were going away for six months, or indefinitely, mm. so we mm. were like, okay, we don't want to come home without some sort of business structure plan thing, because mm. we're getting to an age mm. where we've been travelling for so many years, we are like, we have to come home. and have something organised. Yeah. And then we stuck to videos, but had no idea it was going to be a career yeah, at right. all. No. We actually had, we were trying to like plan an Asai like superfood store and... <laughs> yeah, remember <laughs> that? Because we, yeah, we went over with the intention of trying to find something yeah. that we wanted to do for the rest of our life or I don't know, just something that we actually enjoyed yeah. because we were doing trading work. We had we didn't no enjoy idea it. about hospitality. So you, you, did, you didn't enjoy, you didn't enjoy, you know, no. hard labour no. training? No, no. no. Sure. Um, so food, obviously I, I'm, I'm the cook. Yeah. Um, the inspiring cook, I suppose. And, uh, and Matt, you know, we were talking about what you cook, and I think it was a poached egg every now and then, or you love eggs. <laughs> yeah, eggs. And eggs the eggs only better. pasta you ever do is, is uh, okay. pesto pasta. pasta. But you buy the pasta and you buy the pesto. Yeah. Now, out the that. front here, and I can show you guys yeah. later, but I grow my own basil. And, uh, and I thought, well, the easiest thing for me to do for you is, is to show you how to make pesto and make a little pasta. Yes, and we can sit good. down. And then I thought, you guys also mentioned that you love pub grub. Yeah. And, uh, and I saw that skit about palmy and, and palmer. <laughs> yeah. What do you call it? What do you call it? I think, I think it's a palmy. Yeah, it's a palmy. It's a palmy. It's a palmy it it sure. depends where you, you're from. Victoria. I think it's Victoria. Palmer. Yeah. So, and I thought, and this is something that I actually do a lot at home, um, is a snitty. Like a chicken snitty. The best. But a little bit different to probably what you've had. So I thought I'd show you my version oh, um, yes. of, a, of a chicken snitty. And I, I, look. This is I all you cook for the next two years now. Uh, I've, got, I've got a little. Do you know what that is? We probably don't, do you? No. Chocolate? Looks <laughs> yeah. like a, a pine cone or something. Smell it. Oh, yeah. What, what is that? That's, um, oh, you know, you can smell it. Yeah, I can smell it. I don't know what. Can I smell it? Yeah, okay, me too. Oh, my God. It's on the top of my head. What is mm, that? Mm. Is it cheese? No. Cheese. No. 
Look cheese. at the thing, look at an abalone or something. I, I love it when I... I what know. is it? Uh, it's a fresh black truffle. Really? Oh, oh truffle. truffle, that's it. Oh, is, that yeah. mush is it mushroom? Is truffle uh, it's, mushroom? It's, it's a fungus, yeah, fungus. Um, or a fungi, fungi, and it's fungi. grown on, on the spores. I'll be tripping out in a second, just yeah, sniffing yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, sniff this, boys. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, it, it, is a, it is an acquired taste and also smell. And the problem with truffle, once you've smelled it, and real truffle, all you want to do is just keep smelling it. Oh. So I just put my head in a bag. Sniff it again, we're really going to be tripping today. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to grate it. I'll yeah. grate it. I'm going to grate it over the top of your, uh, your snitty. Um, oh and, uh, and then we're going to sit over there and we're going to have a, maybe a beer, because I know you guys love a beer. Right. And um, I'm going to show you how to poach an egg too. Yes. The perfect I'm egg. I'm pretty good at it. Oh, so, but, <laughs> not to your level, but we'll see. <laughs> pretty good at it, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. um, because so <laughs> I've, um, I've asked around, you know, and a couple of the young girls that I know, and I said, yeah, what do you think? And they think you're, they think you're pretty bloody hot. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. See, I, the bathroom man. The <laughs> so when, uh, when yeah. someone sees this and they go, geez, you know, Matt, you can cook. You can go, yeah, I'd love to cook you breakfast. That's, oh. that's the inline. So is this a, oh, so is this pasta no, no, for breakfast? This, well, you could do pasta for breakfast if you yeah, want. You could. Or you could do poached egg and put a little bit of pesto on it. Yeah. Give me a royal flush after this. Oh, oh man. man. You have it Dangerous. all Look at that. He can cook and funny. Jesus. Yeah. It does oh. have a royal flush. Um, basil, a bit of garlic. Let me the talk of friggin' bit of garlic. Uh, yeah. Some yeah. pine nuts. Can he cook for you too? <laughs> yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> pine nuts, a little bit oh, of lemon. Yeah. I'm just going to grate that, actually. Uh, and the lemon is only for a little bit of freshness. So what, uh, what this is for? Do you do like the outside of it? Yeah. 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 So no, no. The reason why we don't put um, lemon juice in it is lemon juice is acid or acidic, so it actually turn the the uh, the pesto uh, brown. Got mushrooms. Yeah, we got acid. <laughs> oh, no, it's it's, going, it's going to be a good dinner. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. It's Friday. That's right. I'm not a drug dealer. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. You're just um, a chef. Just, I'm just a cook, yeah. just a humble cook Drug, trying to have a crack. Drug cook. Drug cook. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I actually love Breaking Bad. Oh, yeah. how good is it? Yeah. And you look like Walter a little bit. <laughs> a, little, a little bit of Parmesan. You'll lose all your subscribers now. Parmesan? <laughs> Wait, I've got to concentrate here. Yeah, mate. Could be... So I'll give you the rest of it anyway, but it's basil, um, garlic, uh, pine nuts, nuts, which have been toasted. Okay. Really important, you've got to toast, toast your nuts, them. yeah. Toast your nuts. <laughs> toast your nuts. <laughs> a little bit of Parmesan and good olive oil. Olive oil. But olive oil is quite strong in flavour, yeah, so you don't want to add too much. Jesus. Yeah, no, 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 but this is how is you preserve it too. Not much. And uh, don't add too much. <laughs> what goes in. We use a lot of grapeseed oil because grapeseed oil is a neutral flavour, but okay. you still get the same sort of desire of having oil in it. Nice. So, so how did you get into cooking? Yeah. Um, I. The women. <laughs> There's no women back there. Um, to be honest, uh, I, I'm very lucky because, you know, I've, I'm a tradie, you know, a chef, yeah. but I absolutely love it. So I was 15, I wasn't, I was living out west, um, wasn't very academic, wanted to leave school, dad wouldn't let me leave school. We came from the country originally and, uh, and that's why I've got the big farm and stuff out there now. Yeah. And, uh, and I would have done anything, I would have bloody laid bricks, plastered, anything to leave school. And yeah. I'd done a little bit of um, cooking on weekends at Parramatta RSL. And uh, I did it as an elective in year nine and ten because it was me, my mate, and nineteen girls. No way. <laughs> it was and, for the girls. And we got and we got a bit of a feed every afternoon. No but way. I was absolutely, you know, shit house at it. Um, and then tried to get a job. Looked everywhere, all over Sydney. Went for about twenty interviews. Couldn't get a job. And then got this call back um, from an interview that I did in this little French restaurant on the north side, which happened to be probably in the top five restaurants in the country. Really. And I was fifteen. And I started my apprenticeship there. Um, you got to know people. Yeah, and well, no, I, I was head chef there by the time I was really? eight. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I went out and you know, started my own restaurant when how I was 22. How long, so how, how long did it take you to go from just getting a job there to being head chef at the first place? Oh, not long. I was pretty, I was pretty dedicated. A uh, little bit of salt. Um, this is Aussie uh, Olsen salt, which I reckon is the best. Australian family owned. And it does make a difference. Mm. Good salts do make a difference. Right, a little so, bit of salt in there. So Himalayan salt, that's a myth. That's just... Mate, you can get good, good Aussie salt. <laughs> don't, don't need it. Uh, you'll turn this on. And just blitz it. That's it. This is pesto. This is pesto. pesto. And it's that easy to make. Do you reckon you ever do it? I got it now. <laughs> I got it. The yeah, yeah. poor backs. But you know how it goes. It's yeah. so easy. Um, and I'm going to show you what to do, Matt, so you can actually keep it. Because 
Yeah. When you make pesto, generally, you know, um, it'll it'll change colour and go brown. Yeah. You know, yeah. fresh stuff. Yeah. But if you just put it into a container, I've got my. Mate, this is I don't know. You can call it the honey magic or whatever. Honey. Hatfield honey. Hatfield is my bloody gardener, and he makes his honey for me. So that's the only jar I could find. Yeah. You taste everything you cook. Yeah. Do you? You have to, hey. Yeah. yeah. Just like a habit. Habit. Like but I normally, like yeah, if, I didn't have the, if I didn't have the camera on, I'd be sticking my finger in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. We can share. Thank you. Yeah. Yum. Yum. Good, huh? Wow. You know what? And it's just better that when it's fresh. So good. So much better than that dark. You know what? Oh. I'll tell you what it is. That it's is good. Amazing. It's good joking. basil. Good olive oil. Good salt. Um, and the nuts are roasted really well. Oh, yeah. Yum. See? I've never been more excited for a meal. I'm not joking. Like a Same, when I was driving so up heavy. here, we'd drive up, I was like, oh, I'm so hungry, and going to the perfect <laughs> place for it. It's, it's just snitty, because the yeah, palmy has got all the rest of the oh, yeah. areas and pieces in it. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to poach an egg for you too. So I've got panko crumbs, that's the difference. Nice. Not bread crumbs, panko crumbs are Japanese bread crumbs, and they're a bit coarser. That is freshly ground parmesan. Yum. So not the packet stuff, I've got a, a block like that, and I've just just basically ground it like that. Um, that's so, a year, that's a year. Yeah, I might hold on to that one. <laughs> yeah. Two thirds palms, uh, two thirds panko, one third um, grated, grated parmesan. And I'm just gonna mix that around. Good salt again, yeah? Salt. Olsen salt. Nice salt. I'm gonna mix that, so that's got a little bit of seasoning in it. Yeah. And I've got some chicken breasts that I've, uh, I just took off the bone. So they're quite thick. And the skin, I'm gonna leave the skin on. Right. Normally, um, most people would take it off, but the skin has just got a little bit of fat in it, and the fat is the flavour, yeah? Um, I'm going to poach an egg. It's very hot for some reason. Nice. Right. Just get a bit of boiling water. Oh, that's it. See, we normally do it in massive... We do it yeah, like I do this. something like I that. Right, One there's, egg there's, in... There's two ways you can, you can poach an egg. And um, I go to the farm quite a bit, and I have a weird thing about today's egg. So when you get the, the egg that's that fresh and you poach it, it just keeps all together. And I put on a little bit of toast and uh, I get so many people asking me, how do you poach that egg? It looks so perfect. So if I was at the restaurant, I'd have a big pot and I'd swirl it. I do that. And I'd pop them in and they'd go like, you know, like comets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and they end up, you trim them up and you end up with like a little ball. And that's what you do in sort of salads, which I probably should be doing on this. Is vinegar a myth? Or is that work? Uh, vinegar, no, vinegar will actually stabilise it a little bit and keep it together, but if you've got a really fresh egg, you, you shouldn't need it yeah, anyway. Okay. I hate um, when it has vinegar I don't, in it. I don't like the flavour of yeah, vinegar in, no. in your egg. Is that meant to keep it together more? Yeah, it just sort of keeps it, you know, yeah. tight. These eggs should be really fresh. I try and keep the, uh, the shape. Make sure it's covered too. Where do you get your eggs from? You, Mate, these are, the these are um, oh. Pope's Free Range. That's where I get them Pope's. from. Mate, wherever I can get good, uh, wherever I can get good, good free range eggs. Straight from Italy. You know, at the farm, they're by far the best always. See, sell them to yourself. Yeah. Give yourself a good yeah. price. Make a good margin. <laughs> okay. yeah. um, I'm going to make a cos salad too. So this is really, really simple. So a little bit of mayonnaise, kupi mayonnaise. It's going to be the dressing. A little bit of buttermilk, which is sour. Uh, a little bit of what's that? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Special ingredient. Yeah, a little bit of garlic powder. Yum. I don't know why that's in there. <laughs> what? And a little bit of uh, cider, cider vinegar. So it's just a, a simple dressing. So I just get a little thing like that. See how that's, that's perfect that egg? That's good. So good. And what's the timing on it? Is it how many? Yeah. How Until it's cooked. <laughs> what if you're not that smart? <laughs> uh, see how I lifted that up then? And I just had a look at it and I could yeah. see it's still yeah. really wobbly. Yeah. And it's not quite there. Yeah, okay. So, um, I'm going to grab a cos. I'm going to cut that in half. Not near my chooks, actually. Cos. Cos. Uh, or baby gem. Baby gem. Baby gem, that's what they call that. Yeah. What's that? What are, What's, they? Yeah, what are these? No, no. Asparagus. No, asparagus. Just, asparagus. No, no. I was about to call these asparagus. What, what are they called? It starts with A, doesn't it? You call these asparagus. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What are these called? I don't know either. I don't know they're not asparagus. No, 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 no. Pineapple. Pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> Beetroot. Small cauliflower. Uh, what is that? Close. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Sprout. That's it. A, B. See, we, a, B. We, a, B. We, Brussels sprouts. We so, grew up with those. So I've washed those, uh, that cos, and I'm just going to leave. <laughs> That on the plate for you. Nice. Look at that. Make it look a bit pretty. Yum. 
It's $44. That's Vegan. Cheap. That's cheap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of olive oil on top. All right, see that one there? I'm just going to put it on that. And I'm just going to get those little bits around so it looks like a proper egg. That sitting on toast is like the perfect poached egg. Set oh, that look at that. that. Yeah. Um, not just a pretty face. But if it actually starts to, um, if it breaks and the yolk starts to run everywhere, that's not a bad thing either because I like that. basically what you want is that you want the yolk to be part of the dressing. That looks divine. You could even boil them, soft boil them, and then cut them in half. Oh, is this the, for the salad, is it? Yeah, this is your salad. Yeah. Stop it. Oh this is just your salad. So what we're going to do now, I'm going yeah. to really lux it up for you guys. Yeah, yeah I like this. I'm That's the thing, how do you check chicken without Cutting it you can put a it. you can put a, um, a thermometer in it. Oh yeah, I can probe. Yeah, probe around sixty degrees, or you can cook for thirty five years and just work it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously, <laughs> it's All up right. to you. Yeah. Fine. All right, so that's still cooking. That's ready to go. That's it. Do you want a beer? Why not? Why? Yeah. Why not? Thank you. Right. Yeah. It's even midday yet. Yeah, it is. Oh. Well, good to go. Do you want a glass or just a, a beer? Ah, oh, that's fine. Mate, Aussie, good Aussie beer too. Yeah. Thank Lane. you. Yum. Cheers. Oh, no, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'm going to have one too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. What have we got? <laughs> Brick Lane, one love. Hello. So you're into your ales? Mate, I love my beer. Yeah, yeah. love my beer. And especially if you know I'm having a schnitty. Oh. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, it's the best. It's right, crime. pasta, that's going to take three minutes. There's a lot of pasta in there actually. I'll put a little bit of oil in there, put a bit of salt in there again. I'm just going to grab a pinch of Alton sea salt. Yeah, Cheers. the oil. Cheers. Cheers, guys. You don't Cheers. want a glass? No? No, it's sweet. Cheers. Nice Cheers. Boys. All right. So, a little bit more flavour. Now, remember you got all the fattiness of the, the, um, the crumbs. And what I'm going to do is, there's a real trick for you, a little bit of butter. I'm going to whack that in the pan. Or a lot of butter. <laughs> Grab a spoon. And I'm going to let that brown a bit, and I'm going to baste the chicken with the burnt butter, or the nut brown butter. Oh but it's God. quite fatty. You know, you brown butter, you, yeah. you love that flavour, and you just baste it. So you can see that, you see how it's getting all nutty brown? Yeah. And it just gives it another, oh. I'm still cooking it, <laughs> but it just gives it another flavour. This is holy moly. This is actually food porn. I know, it's all happening. Get the asparagus on there. Yeah, chuck a couple of sparrows in there. <laughs> couple of sparrows. <laughs> I love it. But because it's so fatty, you want to sort of um, balance it a bit. So we're just going to squeeze lemon over the top. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. I reckon we can move over there. Grab your beers. Grab a, uh, we've got Yeah, we've got plates and everything over there. And we'll sit down and we'll eat. Yum. Take these. Yep, take whatever you can. Don't drop it, Matt. <laughs> yeah, Matt. <laughs> One for the dog. Um, Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Right. Oh, Thank you. It's very, very hard to look at you two with chef's uniform. <laughs> yeah. Especially with my name written all over it. Would you be, would you be um, proud of your working in restaurant? Uh, mate, you know, you can always come and, you know, do a work experience if you like. You should do that one night. I like how he holds a fork, it's like, it's like, like a bit of a caveman. This is him PG, you should see the R-rated eating, it's so bad. Is it? He gets lost, like, if he had a, if the, the moment if you ever get a girlfriend, their parents are going to deny you entry the next time you try and visit. Yeah, what's been the biggest story? What's had the most, you know, hits, likes, clicks or whatever? Mm. The biggest video we've done is the cowboy yeah. run, mm. the hip thrusting. Mate, that was that was. <laughs> yeah. Um, the uh, dance one. Fleetwood Mac, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. yeah. And then the second one, they're all dance ones. Yeah. yeah right. The road cyclist, that's coming up. Yeah, the road cyclist oh, on that, but that's still we well. We that up like two days ago. And it's, it's on like number four best ones. So is it really? Australia must hate road cyclists. <laughs> but they say good food, you don't need sauce. No. And this, you don't need sauce. I've never yes, yes, been yes. eating a schnitzel in my life without sauce. Really? Every schnitzel we have, we get oh gravy. Oh god! Do you? A, yeah. You have a schnitzel with a bit of, um, and you get really taste the lemon in it too. Mm. Yeah? Um, but even with the egg, you know the egg. Yeah, the, the sauce. yeah, definitely. Mm. Yeah. Yum! That's 
Yeah. Affection. He's go. cooked all right. It's yeah. not overcooked, undercooked. Done all right, mate. Done all right. I thought I did all right. Thank God for that. <laughs> we'll huh? be back. You'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> Every Friday week. now. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, door. you're welcome anytime. Seriously, Perfect. Um, guys, great to have you, and um, I wish you the best on your success. I, you probably don't need it. You guys are absolutely killing it. <laughs> and uh, always we'll remember, it. always yeah. remember that um, if you ever need a chef, you know, home cook to, you know, maybe I'm up for it. Perfect. Oh, no. <laughs> right, we'll take that up. Thank, thank you. Yeah, thank Thanks you. For us. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Pleasure. Cheers. Thank you. Pleasure, mate. Mm. Yeah, keep eating. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna finish this for sure.